Welcome to our tutorial on Malasana Garland Pose. So there's a couple of ways to get into this pose. Come to it however, whatever is the most comfortable way for you. Um, one of the ways I like to enter the pose is from standing. So coming down, exhaling all the way down to the earth, placing my hands on the earth and then adjusting my feet to suit and it might take you a little few goes twisting the hips here and then sitting back into your malasana so you can actually add that into a flow uh, if you use that little method for getting down so here I am in malasana my elbows are pressing into my shins I'm pressing my knees back and I'm lifting through the spine creating a little bit of heart opening what I'm also doing is right now I'm sitting right down into this space, but what I want to do is actually squeeze and lift. So I'm drawing into the core, squeezing up through the perineum and making this quite an active posture. So I'm not just sitting down into it. Now, if your heels aren't touching the ground, this is a little roller, this little guy, I think has cost me about $5 in Kmart. So you can place this little guy behind the heels. And if your heels, Kind of don't quite make it all the way down to the ground this can be a lovely little way to uh, get your body used to entering the posture and of course uh, you can use a block you can use a book you can use a towel you can use a blanket you can use anything you like a prop is a good thing it's not about being a bad yogi it's being about an aware yogi having an awareness and showing your body what the possibilities are within your practice so right now my heels are saying oh I don't mind it here I might like to go a little lower and so that's where we can go a little deeper into our practice opening up through the hips and taking our malasana what is malasana useful for it's useful for a lovely transition into crow if that is where you would like to go it's useful because it is a really deep lovely hip opener and heart opener so you can take one hand to the floor you can extend on the inhale the opposite hand up to the sky and you can swap that over bringing the hands back to heart center taking that right hand down to the earth inhaling as you lift the left hand up to the sky you might also be open to a bind here so you're going to wrap that bottom arm around the leg and take the opposite arm behind and see if you can interlace the fingers or grab in like a monkey grip so it might mean that you start with the fingers interlaced first so coming up out of malasana is a particularly stylish exit you might also use this in your yin practice so if staying in malasana for a super duper long period of time is not an option for you or it's not particularly comfortable move it on over to a wall lean against the wall have your feet probably about 15 centimeters away from the wall turn the toes out so the knees are going to track over the toes and the wall is going to give you some support here and i warn you this is going to feel really good <laughs> so you can bring your hands to heart center take an inhale and as you exhale slide your body down the wall and come to your comfortable space in Malasana. So still the opening of the hips here, my elbows are pressing back into the knees. I can bring my elbows a little bit higher and feel the walls supporting me behind. So supporting the heart space here. And I can take 10, 20 rounds of breath here quite easily and enjoy this little out time out in Malasana so it's quite quite lovely so what is Malasana useful for so if we come away from the wall uh, I actually like to use it for a transition to crow so you can take an inhale breath and as you exhale come all the way down to a squat hips slightly higher than the knees hands go down to the earth you can lift up take your crow pose and then as you exhale you can replace the feet down and bring the hands to the heart center to exit out of crow pose sorry out of malasana you can take the hands to the side 
and simply drop down and give the legs a little bit of a shake here. So that is your molasses.